We're going to take a look at some viral videos and TikTok videos the kids are passing around on the internet this week. These are videos that are, have been sent to me by my producers, specifically McKenna. And she has sent me a lot of Dylan Mulvaney it stuff like because uh, yeah. I guess she, you know, as usual, is trying to get me into even more trouble. So I'm, I'm only looking at the description here. And uh, so I get, they sent me this clip sheet. This is all. So clip 20, Dylan raps about being a girl. Okay, it's day 200 of being a girl, and I think we can agree that it's been a whirlwind. I have a tendency to overshare my life, and y'all are still watching. How cool is that? Once upon a time, I was a boy who had ADHD, and now I'm a girl who still has ADHD. I really like possums and twilight and pretzels. I accidentally became an influencer, now here we are. Girlhood has had its ups and its downs, and here's what I've learned so far. Six, seven, eight. Women are awesome, but can also be cruel. I'm doing my best, and boys, they kinda drool. My hormones are wild, and my boobs kinda sore. It's only day 200, we have so much more to experience together. We're just getting started. Thank you for being my friend. You're open-hearted. I don't feel so alone. No more shame and carefree. Being a girl is awesome. Would you agree? Woohoo! Woohoo! Love ya! Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me? Uh, I, <laughs> I think I've said all about this guy that needs to be said. Or that can be said. I, I am interested in, well, not really interested, but I'm slightly curious about, uh, I like possums and pretzels. Like, the the two most random possible things. Wait, 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 first of all, you like possums. What does that mean? You know what? We're just going to move on. So today was our first day back from spring break, and I told all my students that my pronouns are they, them, and that my honorific is mix. A few of my students had some questions and we were able to talk about those, um, but I wanted to tell you about two of my students that just made my heart sing and made me feel so validated. Uh, one of them, she put in the chat, ah, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and then one of my other students, maybe like half an hour after we had talked about that, had a question and put in the chat, mix, da 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 da, da. here's my question. Um, and it was just so validating to see mix pop up on the screen instead of miss, and I just, it made my day. Yeah, it really, uh, it really, it, it cannot be emphasized enough how perverse, I mean, obviously all of this is perverse, but just the very idea that you are you are seeking validation from kid not only kids but the kids you're supposed to be teaching you are supposed to be providing a service to the child by teaching the child and and therefore to the parents and to the community like that's what you are supposed to be doing and yet they become forums uh, or 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 you you have now put on them the burden of validation so I think we spent a lot of time talking about how it, it, you know, being called mix, just a total gibberish. It doesn't make any sense to feel validated by that. That is a bizarre and ridiculous thing to be validated by. And of course, that's true. But also just, just th that you want to be validated at all by the kids, that you are putting that on them. That's not their burden. In fact, it's not, it's not anyone's burden. It's not anyone's job to validate you in that sense. And I still, I, you know, people make this point all the time when we see these videos of teachers. And, um, but it's a good point that we, you know, I think back to when I was a kid and it's like, you didn't know anything about your teachers. You didn't know anything about their private life. It didn't come up. They, they didn't talk about it. There's no reason to talk about it. As, as far as you were concerned, your teacher lived at the school and it's like you, it's, the teacher was like a, some sort of a vampire or something that they cart out from the basement and then bring up into the classroom and then bring back down. But that's what you thought. It's like, it, it, as far as you were concerned, the teachers lived there. And then if you, if you saw a teacher somewhere else, if you saw them at the grocery store, if you saw them 
in civilian clothes a- anywhere else, it was like mind blowing. And that's actually that's how it should be because that what that shows. Of course, it's like as, as a child, that's it's a it's a it's an absurd kind of view that you have of your teacher. But what it shows is that there are appropriate boundaries in place between you and the teacher. And what this shows is that there are no boundaries at all and that you are seeking validation from kids. You know, you should be providing emotional support in an appropriate way and in a, in a, in a properly ordered way to the child, not the other way around. You know, you've heard me talk about how important it is to have an, a VPN to protect your online privacy, but choosing a VPN you trust is equally as important. I like to do my research on my sponsors, and I only recommend brands to my listeners that I believe in. To actually stop people from monitoring your online activity, you need to do what I do and use ExpressVPN. Think about all the times you, you've used Wi-Fi at a coffee shop, hotel, even a friend's house. Without ExpressVPN, every site you visit can be logged by the admin of that network. That's still true, even when you're in incognito mode. ExpressVPN is an app that encrypts all of your network data and reroutes it through a network of secure servers so that your private online activity stays private. ExpressVPN works on all your devices. It's super easy to use. The app has one button, you tap it to connect, and your browsing activity is secure. Stop letting strangers invade your online privacy. Protect yourself at expressvpn.com slash WalshYT. Use my link at expressvpn.com slash WalshYT to get three extra months free. That's expressvpn.com slash WalshYT. If I work somewhere and I express to a number of people what my pronouns are and I'm working there for like six months, um, I shouldn't have to explicitly tell every single person. I've been work- I work there for like six months or more and neither one of them, one of them, one of them. Your car, your car about, about. Okay, so we have another person complaining about uh, being misunderstood. This actually reminded me of a video that I had a couple days ago. We didn't get a chance to play. And so these two videos kind of tie together. They almost look like similar people, different hairstyle anyway. But here's another person complaining about being misgendered. And there's an important point to be made from this. But let's, let's watch this first. You know what I don't get is why people still see me as a woman. What more could I be doing? I literally <laughs> got my titties off. I don't think I look like a woman. So why does everybody? Well, people still see you as a woman because because you are one. And this only goes to show that uh, it actually does not boil down to any individual body part. So that's, a, that's what that, that side accuses us of doing that. They, they accuse us of just sort of like reducing people to their body parts and all of that. You know, so when you say that, well, a man has a penis, they say, well, it's, you're, it's, that's reductive to say that's all. But then, of course, the, the irony in the self-contradiction as always is that that's exactly what they do because they think, well, we'll remove a couple body parts or change some body parts, you know, and then you're, you'll, you, not only will you look like the other sex, but you actually will be the other sex. We're the ones saying, no, it doesn't work that way. Okay. Now it's, it's, it's true that, for example, men have penises. That's a correct statement. But that's not the only physical difference between men and women. So even if a man is castrated, he's still a man and will still look like a man. And the same is true for women also, because your, your entire body is a woman. And uh, we can just see that. We can see that in the, the, your shoulders. We could see it in your facial structure. You know, you can see it in your hand. You can see, you see it, it, it's your, your entire body. That's what it is. And you cannot escape it. And you shouldn't try to escape it. And also, doctors shouldn't be doing that to anyone at all. Especially not to kids, though, which is why, to bring this all back to the beginning, because this, this is a celebratory day at the end, and I, I hate to end it on such a sour note, because at least in Tennessee anyway, anyway uh, doctors will not be able to do that to kids um, anymore. Ain't no smoggy smoke on Rocky Ain't no telephone bill. 